Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. Well, I'll tell you a little video for you on repairing the PCB board on a LiPo balancing charger. Um, this is an Electrofly originally. Um, the original sticker on here was actually for the Estes uh, WE2012 charger. I actually pulled the sticker off and found this one underneath. It's kind of cool. So, but anyways, this is for the two cell 7.4 volt uh, LiPo batteries or lithium ions. Um, it does both batteries. Um, the problem with uh, this particular charger, uh, I actually have to check out my other one yet, but this one uh, wasn't working properly at all. My other one has a habit of saying that the battery is no good after it spends two hours on the charger and it's just about charged and it'll go blink, 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 saying flash error. Um, so this one here doesn't even work where the beans anyway so we thought we'd take, a, take it apart and find out what's going on and so what we've uh, discovered in this one here is a few things uh, the biggest thing of all is we've got some bad solder joints and uh, we've also got um, some cracked ones, cold ones we've got one that's actually got uh, a couple little pit holes in it so I think this one was pretty much uh, done right from the get-go. So anyways, if you have one of these balancing chargers uh, that look like this, um, or it doesn't matter if it's a different one, take it apart and check. But on this one, we're going to be looking at a few of the solder joints here that surround the R28 resistor. And we've got one here uh, that's actually cracked. You can actually see the separation of the solder joint uh, there. Uh, up by R19, which is another resistor. We've got another joint that um, was incomplete and is cracked. Um, we've got a couple of cold solder joints too. And you can always tell cold, cold solder joints because they're very, very dull. Kind of like a sandpapery finish a lot of times. Um, go over to uh, the other side of the board here. And uh, on the far left from R26, um, we've got two joints here that are actually, they normally join together, which is fine. But one of the joints has got a couple of pits in it and a crack. And this one here is just starting to have a fracture line on it. And uh, so we're going to have to repair that. We've got a few other joints here with cracks, uh, cold solder joints. So obviously this thing's been messed up uh, right from the get-go. Um, and hadn't been performing, so that could be the biggest part of the problem with this. Uh, we've also got a solder joint here that looks like it was never even uh, heated properly, let alone cooled right, and uh, so it's another bad one. So there's a bunch of joints here that we've got to repair, and uh, hopefully that brings this thing back to life, and uh, it'll uh, be a good charger again. So. If not, then the joints from arcing, and that's what does happen when you have cracked joints as they tend to arc, um, it can actually start blowing circuits. So if repairing all these solder joints doesn't work out, then it's going to be that it's blown another circuit on the board somewhere. And uh, that just means replacing the charger, but I'm not too worried about it because I've got extra chargers. Um, I actually confirmed um, with my other charger because it always, like I said, it does this flash error thing. Um, I tried a, a different charger from a Cobra SO31 and SO31G. It's the same charger. And it charges that helicopter just fine. It actually charges both my SD helicopters fine. So I know there's something wrong with the charger because um, uh, it's pretty, pretty apparent. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and we're going to repair these things and um, see what happens and if it fixes it then we'll definitely do an update video uh, of the repair and that it went well um, if the repair didn't go well well we're just not going to do a video I'll probably just leave a comment in the box and saying you know what it didn't work out blah 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 uh, but if you don't see a comment like that you'll see a new video and we'll show you all the repair joints that we did where we had to do them all and uh, then you can do the same sort of thing for yourself Pick up one of these helping hands tools though that has the uh, magnifying glass. It's really handy for holding the board, but it's also good with the magnifier because you can really magnify those solder joints up. Because if you can't see with your regular eyes all the bad joints, this thing helps a lot uh, with being able to see that. So um, anyways, um, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. And uh, 
Have a good day.